14th February. Uh, it's a Valentine's Day, and on a moment like this, I think for the whole world, this day has been set aside for us to celebrate love. So basically, everything that we are doing, we are doing it in the name of love. And what I did today was to hit on the street of Sekindita Grade and speak with people who are dressed in red talk to them about why they have clouded themselves in red or why they're dressed in red and also for those who are doing business I wanted to find out how business is doing and then so far I've been speaking with some of them uh, but I met a woman or a woman called me in the process of talking to some of the vendors she called me that she has something special she would want to share with me and that is the reason why I, I want to draw closer to her and then find out what is this special initiative she's embarking on. Of course, she gave me a hint that she came to buy a few things to send to uh, the various hospitals, especially the males who have been admitted. Uh, so I would actually want to find out more. Uh, so let's draw closer and then talk to her. She's holding a valentine, I don't know, flowers. <laughs> I don't know how we call this. This is what, flowers? Sure. Yeah, they are flowers that, um, uh, taken from vendors around and um, I'm taking it to the regional hospital, the Fiam Quanta Hospital. No, be before before we get to that, let's first of all know who you are, your right. name, who you are. And okay. all that. My name is Reverend Gina. I'm the CEO of uh, Gina Field Foods and Industries. Gina Field Foods and Industries, we are not good for processing industry. We've been processing fruits in its natural state but it's able to stay for a year and beyond. And so this year is the 20th uh, year since we started feeding the people of Ghana and then uh, neighboring African countries of our produce. We are into natural produce uh, productions, we are into cereals, we are into spices. We have about 12 varieties of spices. They are all of natural origin. We deal in organic food productions and that is been a coma and we have been practicing green in all our productions and this year every year and let's say for the past six years we try to link up with males in the hospitals you know to give them show our love during Valentine's and uh, like for the past two years we've not been able to take up that uh, you know responsibility so this year celebrating our 20th anniversary we decided to you know, hit the streets. We've been doing this since morning, and uh, this evening we are still pumping around, picking all the, the love flowers around, so that we will continue to share them with the various hospitals and the mills. The reason why we did that is that this year, uh, the, the project we chose to do in is uh, save our men with love. We have we have T-shirts, we have done stickers, so many paraphernalias uh, on that. And the reason is that we realize that uh, economy is getting more tougher and tougher. And uh, because we are getting to uh, scriptural, let's say uh, by knowledge of scriptures, we are into the end times. And so it, things are getting so tough. And when it comes to men. They are the economic bearers of the family. They, they, they suffer a lot. And so when the man is sick, when the man is incapable, you see that the whole family breaks down. And so we decided that having the man in the home is not an easy thing for him. And then when he gets his sick, what happens to the family and the man himself? And so we decided that in these Valentine's days for the past six years, we reach out to the men in the hospitals, we go there to tell them that we love them, we appreciate them, and we are so grateful that they are part of our lives. We tell our, our, our sons who are sick that we love them and we need them. We, we tell our brothers who are also in their sick beds because they don't talk much. Men don't talk much. We, when we are under stress, we shout, and everybody hears. And because of that, we are able to release stress. But they don't have a, 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 a vacuum of releasing more stress. And so it gets them, when they are really broken and they are on the sick bed, it, it's a challenge. And therefore, on the, in this Valentine's season, we are saying to all men that they should take it easy. We know that the economic situation is very tough. It's very tough on fathers. It's very tough on husbands. It's very tough on boys. He himself, boys are bread, but moon taking the cool. 
Now I'm going to say, Eradi Ekayemu. I'm going to say, Mami Fono. I'll be 15 years this year. My business is 20 years. We love you. We love you, boys. We love you, fathers. We love you, guys. And uh, we pray that the Lord continues to strengthen you and to keep you on your feet to be able to take care and handle the families, your relationships, your partners, so that in, in due course, you will have a beautiful and a, peace, a peace, uh, peaceful uh, you know, universe to live. Because without peace in, in our universe, there will be so much chaos. We love you, all men. This Valentine is for all men. See, I'm even surprised because maybe I have no disadvantage I want to have I asked a question of, uh, between in the infinite and the for one or two, and then all of them said in the infinite to me. And see, even in the Valentine, all you are there, and the are still at the receiving end. And see, I am so happy there you thought about doing something for the meals, and then based on the fact that. Uh, men go through a lot, the stress and all that, and then it's very encouraging. <laughs> and then I think uh, this is a good move. Uh, it's the first time I'm hearing something of that sort. This is some do... of our products. Okay, so these are some of the products. Yeah. Okay. You can see that we are celebrating. Mm. This is the 20th anniversary. Okay, so this is what? Uh, this is ginger fruits. Okay. This is ginger lemon. All right. We have we have See. about twelve varieties of natural food products. Natural food products. There are no chemicals I added. See. This is orange. It's just our tropical fruit from our farms, mm. and uh, the 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 sick needs it much more. So we have to, uh, you know, uh, we have some uh, ice that we take to the hospitals, and then we share with the with the inmates there. And this Sunday we are doing a movie night. Yes, we are doing a movie night at the Film Quanta, and we are bringing all the sick together to sit under one umbrella and relax them. And our core mandate is the men, but this time the movie night we are bringing out all, both uh, men and women. But our special gifts go to the men. Well, uh, I think uh, <laughs> I've been part of uh, a historic movie. Move that will go down memory lane, and I believe that uh, our males, uh, males who have been admitted, you said the film contemporary hospital, that's where you go. Ward D, yeah, okay. this evening I'm hitting Ward D Sunday. Okay. Hey, so, they're expecting you, sure. uh, so those of you at Ward D at the film contemporary hospital, mama is coming, and then we're talking about natural uh, uh, juice. Sure. And what again, what are some of the things that they are supposed to expect from you? No, we have some refreshments in there because it's late. We, we, we don't want. We have some sandwiches, and uh, basically it's, it's late in the evening. We wanted to surprise them, give them something that will relax them to sleep. Uh -huh. We've been to other places in the afternoon, and we decided that Wadi uh, uh, is an adopted word for me. That I go there anytime. At least if I don't have much. On a Valentine's Day, I try to reach out to them if I'm not able to reach to the others. Yes. And so this evening, we are my last point of call that we are going to go there, get them refreshed, get them some snacks, and then give them some Valentine goodies okay. so that they can have a beautiful sound sleep this evening, knowing that they are loved. Yeah. I see, actually, it's my first time of meeting you, but uh, I mean, the eloquence level, uh, you are, how do I put it? Uh, very composed and all that. I, I still don't understand why I don't know you. But uh, when you look at our system today, uh, the hardship in the economy, uh, lack of opportunity or inadequate opportunities for the youth and all that, uh, in your youth, probably it used to be different. And, uh, what do you see today? What advice would you have for the young ladies who are listening to us at this point in time? Mm -hmm. I, I think, I think um, there's so much to share when it comes to the youth. Most especially when I finished university, I did work for just a year. Then I started doing things on my own, you see. And so I believe strongly that there are a lot of opportunities around us, but sometimes we close our eyes to it. Sometimes we look down on them. If I should tell a young lady who has finished SHS to do some ice water around you, it will be a problem. To do some uh, small scale business, it will be a problem. 
But I started at a very you know young age, going to school from primary to secondary school. I was always selling something from class one, from the milk toffees to the coconut toffees to ice cream. I would go and put in my auntie's fridge, and then I would handle to school class three. I was I've been doing business so so you know I I finished the investing. And so I want to encourage the ladies and the, and the young guys. Yes, there are not much opportunities in the system, but let's create opportunities for ourselves. Let's stop, uh, you know, looking down on some of the jobs we think we are not worth doing. Because for all you know, the little coin, the, 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 the 10 pesos, the 20 pesos accumulated is massive and it's huge. And that is how I started. Uh, I have never, you know, bowed my head to any business, being small, being menial, any work really I will do, right from childhood. So let's carry that uh, 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 notion around us. If we do, let's go out there. Some of us, our mothers are in the market doing some businesses, but we leave them.